bed, mate. <laughs> I mean, that is literally how it turned up. <laughs> There's a bit, bit of mud in there. TTE side spats, rear, rear spats rather. Oh my god, it's like... Oh, I didn't pay extra for cleaning. Oh my god. This is about to get repainted, isn't it? You should back it over a cliff. Anyway, there we go. So, side sp uh, rear spats done. Front um, bumper, no, front lip on its way on the slowest boat in the world from Japan. And pick up um, side skirts uh, from uh, a guy hopefully this month. All the proper Toyota jobbies, so good times. For today, Project Strut Brace. Ultra race, yeah, ultra racing strut race uh, directly for this car. All I want to do is take, I've got to take this off, take the plastics off, and then I've got to make some cuts here. It essentially, fits there like that, but I want to leave the plastics in place. I don't want to lose them because it looks horrible, really, without them, to be honest, and it's a bit nicer uh, with it on. So, take the plastics off and then trial. See where we've got cut, mark it off, and then go from there. These are not working out for me. But as you said, it's sub zero temperatures, it's not going to help anyone, is it? Right, just mind your face, mate, because that's going to. Take this weather strip out. No, it pops, comes out from underneath it. You know, it should be out now. Oh, maybe not. There we go. Ta da! That K Rust does, does well, doesn't it? So they bolt on here then, I see. Three bolts. Yep. Sick. So that goes. Da -da -da. Yep. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. Just behind the. Wash a bottle. It's not a washer bottle, is it? It's brake. Sick. Yeah, so you need a uh, pair of plies. I don't know the fact the screen turns off. So if we were... I don't know if that is, you know. I don't know if that's actually where it is. It's about there, isn't it? You think? Yeah. Well, we can try off it anyway, can't we? I better to take less off than more. Because I'm thinking this bit here, you see. That's the only thing. Let's try off it. Take that as the strut. Yeah. It's not. It's. Oh. I wonder if that's what the oh, the semicircle is then. Oh, I'm 
I'll be back. <laughs> If you have a look here, I'm just going to blob some paint on the top of these, which I've sprayed into the lid of the can using a old horrible Allen key because I couldn't find a brush, like so. Very carefully move that away from my paintwork, and then we're going to wedge that onto there very carefully. Yeah, see, I can feel one point there, so it's actually shifted quite a bit back there. Yeah. So if I was cut that there, yeah. taking, thinking, oh, it, even if I took that as a strike, still not, it's still a little bit further back. Yeah. So we'll just leave that there for a second. Let's do the other one. Even hold it up, my trusty assistant. It's not, it's probably as exact, oh, that's a bit easier. <laughs> put that there. Okay. Be a little bit runny underneath, but at least then we should get an idea of where the strut towers are. Yes! So, how have we done? Look at that! Obviously, if you take that as a as a straight yeah but then line, because that's how it's going to come across by and large. You'll be there. able to sort of shave it. <laughs> Definitely need two hands for this. Two sets of hands, should I say? I've got two hands. That always makes life handy. Ah, handy. Boom, boom. I reckon if I take a line there, yeah, that give me an idea for there. Make sure that's sort of hovering over there for me, so it's roughly. Because obviously the sort of the yeah. same point you've got is this circle here, and this line, which you can get as a more exact point because it's like that. Is going to be sort of a rectangle like that. Mm -hmm. So if I do pretty much the same here, I'll go for, go for that. Did we make that? That's 
ferocious. <laughs> Turn that down a bit. Bloody hell. One safety point, you should actually be wearing goggles for this because if that flicks up and hits you in the eye, you're going to be in trouble. So I'll go and get a pair. <laughs> yeah! Oh man, I need to buy some new ones of these because I can literally hardly see out of these. I think I think you're gonna to need to lay the brace on it. No, we won't. that any better could you? If I clamp that there. Yeah. yeah. How's that looking? Yeah, it's about there. Okay. I just think it's always better to, like you said, you know, measure, check twice, cut once. Yeah, I mean, it, it would make life easier if I took just a tad more off there, but it goes in, so... It's better to be snug, though, than Fine. loose. Turn around and face me, the whole thing. Yes. Yep. Yep, looks excellent. Get me a bolt off of as well, I can get you your ratchets. Ratchet well, spanners. I can't see again. Yeah, if you 
want to know the torque setting when you put these back on, it's 39 Newton meters. I'll put, when I do the video, or when I say do the video, I mean uh, edit it, I'll, um, I'll put the foot pounds and all that sort of thing on there so you know which it is. Apparently this is supposed to give you better turn in the ring. I'll be the judge of that. No! It's alright, hit the floor. Oh, it's on the floor, it's alright. <laughs> One of the only, one of the very many, many benefits of having a um, mid-engine car. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I can't reach it. Yeah, yeah. Spanner. Well, you want me to drag my chrome spanner on the floor? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Ah, win. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Which are they? Those? They're not the actual. They don't even look like the Toyota ones, but what these stop them doing, the Toyota ones you have to poke the middle in, and what happens is they just drop straight through, which is you end up replacing them all, but these ones you have to pull them up. Not do that, man. We just pull them up so you don't lose them. But they fracture in the cold. But if it's like minus one, they will break. <laughs> However, this is the first decent day we've had for, I don't know, because now it's all one piece. I'm getting a good angle. Oh, shit. That goes on there. Oh, yeah, I would like to be able to see it slide over on this struts, if I'm honest. That's it. another one. It's, it's right over this side. It's like it's got to come over a bit. Right, well, loosen, yeah, loosen that one off a tiny bit. I'll pull it. Obviously, you're not, it's not going to be scientific. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it much, though. Yeah, that's moved. That's moved. Right. Three mil, two, three mil. That's it, stop, 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 stop. Right, if you come and tighten that quickly. Oh, okay, I can look at that. Let's see. I'd go and do the other one that side, to be fair. Isn't it? Yeah, how about that? Is that new right? The one to get, I wonder if we can. <laughs> right. right, so it's fitted. Not without its problems. First thing, that's as far as I was getting. And putting that back on, trying to get the angle of the screwdriver in was a real pain, but it can be done. The other thing is, it pushes on the plastics here. Now, the other MR2s I've seen, they've got this scooped out, so I don't know what, I can't, don't know what this is, but it's hitting on there. So that is an issue. This, that comes off okay. And then it didn't free. Overall, uh, I like it. It'll be interesting to see how it drives. Everybody says it really tightens up the front end and you can turn in, the turn in is quicker. Um, I think I'm gonna end up cutting these off because put, putting the plastics on was a slight pain and it's sort of, sh the plastics for some reason have moved around. I think it's because it's here on this point here. Um, I think that's the washer, uh, the windscreen wiper. 
possibly not. I'm not sure on that. In any case, um, this is a, a solid product, um, but uh, it's obviously designed uh, for a UK MR2. Uh, I'm just not sure about uh, this bit here. There's going to be a payoff because the bar's got to go somewhere. This is the closest point it's going to go. So in terms of uh, Ultra Racing's design, this is the best design. It can't go anywhere else, otherwise you're losing this because it's going to have to come across. And you wouldn't normally have this problem on a standard car anyway because you wouldn't have any of this issue. It would just be an engine. And previous cars I've had that we fit strut braces on, uh, it's just a case of uh, bolts off, on, uh, bolt it up, and there's nothing in the way, and it's fine. So uh, we'll give it a drive and um, see if we feel any difference. It's certainly, um, you know, the, the, the points they, they were fine, it dropped on there fine. It's just this plastics really that is the problem in this. So I don't use this uh, very often. I can still, if I needed to, you know, I could still get a wheel out and a wheel in, so it's functional. Oh, that's cute. So, uh, that's fitness strut race. It wasn't as straightforward as I thought it would be. Um, I've never had to do it as a side in this situation where I've had to cut plastics and things. It's just been a bolt on a fair and quite easy. Um, so, uh, I'll end this video here now and then we'll do another video later on with um, see how it drives. Thanks for now. Bye for now. Yeah, anyway, bye.